What is up guys? God bless you all. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna continue taking apart the GA16D. So here we have where we left off last time. Plan for today is to pull out the head and what happened last time I couldn't remove the uh, damper pulley so um, I got a new impact gun so it should be easy to take it out so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, removing this and what we're gonna do we're gonna remove the intake manifold then we're gonna go ahead and pull out the head to see what I can find but before that I want to take a moment to thank you all for 1200 subscribers and actually I'm pretty happy about it I, I never thought that I would get this far so quick so thank you so much for the support and let's go with this So I went ahead and removed all the bolts from timing cover. I guess I have a bolt missing. I can find, I can take it out. But I went ahead and also removed the oil pan. What I'm gonna do, I'm going to uh, try to pull the head out because I'm curious to see what happens. To be honest, it's really cold today and I just wanna see what happened. I was talking to my dad, he's a mechanic. He does that for a living and he guessed that I broke a piston and I was debating with him that I thought that probably, I guess it was a piston ring. So uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think that we broke. So let's pull the head out right now. Alright, so successfully I got the head out. It gave me a little fight. Um, I'll be honest, this one is my first GA16D I'm taking apart. So by no means I claim to be a professional on this. This is my hobby, I'm willing to learn, and this is my first experience. So with that being said, I pulled out the head. Um, the head gasket it looks good. Um, I thought that uh, probably we we break it, we break it, or or you let go. But as you as you guys can see, it does look good. Um, I guess this one is the one that let go. Um, everything looks a little slushy as well. 
but what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna see if I can pull out timing cover, which is right here, um, cause I need to remove this bracket. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the head, which is right here. Um, honestly, everything looks fine. There you guys can see it. Um, behind it, it looks good as well. Here you guys can see it. The head gasket doesn't look uh, messed up. The bulbs looks good. I'm gonna need a little bit of cleaning for sure. But um, besides that, I mean, it's, it's not bad. I mean, this bulb right here, that one, it looks a little slushy. Come on camera. That one right there, but um, like I said, I'm going to uh, pull out the timing cover and I wanna pull out the pistons as well to see um, what happened. Let's go. So I was uh, inspecting a little more and after speaking to my dad, I realized that probably the head gasket let go and there is actually, a, there is a spot where most likely the head gasket let go. Um, also, I realized on piston number two I was having the same issue. You guys can see how it looks clean on the top. And I saw also a couple of bulbs are not sitting properly on the head. So what I'm gonna do, uh, just to finish off for today, I'm going to uh, pull out the pistons on the rods, look at them, and that should be all for today. So successfully, I pulled out the four pistons. Also, I was able to uh, pull out the timing cover. Actually, I had everything out, but the cover was stuck on the guide pin. So it's one right there, one over here, and actually it was getting stuck on those. So let me show you the pistons, and yeah, one of them was cracked. And here we have for the four pistons. So here we have piston number one. This one actually is good. <clears throat> um, all the rods are good. The rod bearings are shot. Um, this piston was good. Um, the rings were fine as well. Uh, piston number two. Um, this one, um, the, pist uh, the rings were good, but this one, uh, it was starting to get cracked. Uh, where is it? Never mind, two was good. And the number three over here, uh, the bearings were out as well. And the piston uh, rings were good, but this one was getting cracked. And you guys can see right there where um, actually that one uh, was starting to get cracked. Um, a, lot of, a lot of sludge, as you guys can see. but at least the rod is good. And obviously the, the bearings were out as well. Can just show you real quick. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh. You guys can see it. And the start of the show, number four. So this one, um, the rings got cracked. 
uh, the second ring actually was cracked. Um, I dropped the ring while I was taking the whole thing out. Besides that, um, this big song is actually cracked. Uh, let me see. Can see you guys can see it right there. You got a crack right here. Um, also, it's cracked right there as well. And I think uh, that was it. Um, so yeah, that was number four. So here we have the block. Actually, uh, the walls doesn't look too bad. The worst one, of course, is on number four, which is where the crack piston was. And you guys can see a little bit there how it looks. A little bit, nothing too crazy. But besides that, the rest, they aren't that bad at all. So uh, a good tuning and this one should be good to go. The crank also looks very good. Probably I'll, I'll take it out just to get polished, just to be safe. Um, I haven't pulled out the intake manifold, but I'm exhausted. It's cold. I have to clean all oh, this mess. It's just mess everywhere and i have to clean this up super cold today i'm not even joking it's 40 degrees in here and yeah so yeah guys there you guys have it we took apart the ga16d and we found a broken piston a broken piston ring and a bad head gasket and drop bearings right out as well so we're gonna take some time. Um, don't expect within a week or two to have this engine assembled. I'm gonna take my time with it. I'm gonna do it right, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try to do everything myself. And like I said, this one will be my first uh, engine assembling. So I'm gonna wanna make sure I do things right. But thank you guys for watching. You guys have a nice day. Happy Valentine's that I know it was last night. And I will see you the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. God bless you all.